If I moved to a different Dallas-Fort Worth city, where would I go? In this video, I'm going to share why Waxahachie, Texas would be my choice of where to live. I'm Keela McGraw, your favorite Dallas-Fort Worth realtor. We've helped a lot of clients relocate to the area. And one of the things that is, can be a good thing, but also overwhelming is how many choices you have when it comes to places to live in the DFW area. We work really hard to listen to what our clients need and then try to identify some cities that would be a good fit for them. And of course, when we're working with people who are relocating to the area, one of the questions that often comes up is, why did we choose the city where we live? If you watched any of our other videos, you know that I've lived in the Dallas-Fort Worth area for over 20 years. I lived in Fort Worth for a while, attended TCU, then moved into Arlington, and I lived in Arlington for about 15 years. And then finally, my family and I, we planted roots in Mansfield, and that's where we live now. But someone recently asked if we could live anywhere else, what other city would we live in besides Mansfield? That was a really good question and a fun exercise for Tori and I to kind of go back and forth on which city would fit best for our needs and our family. But after some discussions and some deep thoughts, we came up with one city that was at the top of both of our lists, honestly, and that city is Waxahachie, Texas. One interesting thing that we found out in our research is that niche.com gave an overall rating of an A- minus to Waxahachie. And according to the Dallas Business Journal, Waxahachie is the 13th fastest growing city in Texas. So that being said, I'm gonna share a few reasons why Waxahachie would be a great choice. So let's start with where Waxahachie is located. It is south of Dallas, so it is really considered a suburb of Dallas. It is located in Ellis County. Waxahachie is very accessible. It has two major highways that runs through the city. You have Interstate 35 and that takes you straight to Dallas, actually downtown Dallas and on further north, of course. And then you have Highway 287, which you can easily get to Fort Worth. And for us, highway access and being able to easily navigate to, you know, the main thoroughfares and cities in DFW is very important. So Waxahachie definitely check that box for us. One of the great things we like about the location of Waxahachie is it's just a 30 minute drive to downtown Dallas and about a 45 minute drive to downtown Fort Worth. So of course it makes both cities easily accessible and you know driving to either one is just one of those things that is not totally out of the question. Now my family generally travels um, utilizing Southwest Airlines and traveling from Waxahachie to Dallas Love Field is about a 40 minute commute. And to get to Dallas Fort Worth International Airport, you're looking at about 50 to 55 minutes. So when it comes to Waxahachie, it does have a very small town feel to it. And I hadn't realized, but I went from a heavily populated city of Fort Worth, Texas, which has about 935,000 residents, to a mid-sized city in Arlington, which has about 392,000 residents, and then to Mansfield, Texas, which has a population of about 73,000 people. So I'm definitely trending towards smaller and smaller cities, and Waxahachie is another step in that direction with a population of about 43,000 people. It's 50 square miles, so I love that it's, you know, a manageable amount of space that you can travel to and have different options when it comes to housing or even types of housing with acreage and things like that. I found that I really do appreciate the small town feel and not so much the hustle and bustle that you get from the larger or highly populated cities like Dallas or Fort Worth. It really does just kind of give me some peace and zen, and I definitely feel that when I travel to Waxahachie. Waxahachie's downtown definitely has that charm. It has the cute shops and boutiques. It has like a town square. Um, we definitely go to the restaurants. They even have fine dining there, which I found was very interesting with a, a city that size having some fine dining. So all that to say, that's just something that I prefer over the concrete jungle that you definitely have easy access to, to get to if you choose to. Of course, when you're considering a city to live in, cost of living is one of those things that pops up. Waxahachie's cost of living is only 1% higher than the national average according to payscale.com. And the housing cost is 12% lower than the national average. So we're always looking for the biggest bang for our buck when it comes to where to live and Waxahachie definitely 
provides that and gives us some relief if you're looking at housing options. And of course, cost of living is definitely in alignment with what we would want. And of course, stay tuned to the end of this video when I will go over housing costs and you'll definitely wanna see what Waxahachie has to offer. When it comes to things to do in Waxahachie, it does not disappoint. So Waxahachie, like, it's very similar to other cities, definitely has your parks so you can walk, bike, jog, hike, do all those things. Some of the parks have swimming pools, so you have that option, and that's definitely an option you wanna take advantage of in this Texas heat that we experience in the summertime. Waxahachie also has a lake, and so Lake Waxahachie is a place where you can boat, you can fish, you can do all the things, and it's funny because Tori and my son Caden have really been diving into fishing a lot more, and they definitely like to go down to Waxahachie and, and see what kind of bites they can get on the line and when it comes to fishing. So I don't think we would ever get a boat even though our family does like to ride in boats, but Lake Waxahachie does have a boating ramp so you have access to boats there. Um, just a fun time for the family and of course, it's beautiful out there. Of course it's beautiful. Um, you have lots of greenery, just being on the water is peaceful anyway. So definitely check it out. And of course you wanna be in a city that has different things to do and Waxahachie does a great job of coordinating different events throughout the year. Some of those year-round attractions and festivals include the Crossroads of Texas Film and Music Festival that happens in April. You have the Gingerbread Trail in June. You have the Crepe Myrtle Festival in July. And then of course, around the holidays, around December, you have the Parade of Lights. You have Christmas tours of homes and Bethlehem revisited. So plenty to do just throughout the year. That's one of the things I definitely appreciate about Waxahachie. And of course, being a foodie, I can't ignore the food options there. So of course you have your chain restaurants, your McDonald's, your Taco Bell's, those types of things, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A. But you also have some fine dining options and kind of like local restaurants that you would not see anywhere in Texas which I think is very unique and a nice touch to, to living in Waxahachie. So I really love that I don't have to leave the city to enjoy some shopping and things like that. Some of the cities in the DFW area, you have to leave and go to other cities to enjoy some fine shopping and things like that. But Waxahachie does give you those options. Now there aren't high end retailers there. Um, hopefully one day they will, you know, travel to that area. But again, you're only about 45 minutes to Fort Worth and 30 minutes to Dallas. So easy access to those areas or cities that have some of those higher end shopping options. We are a family and we do have young kids that do attend schools, public schools. And Waxahachie ISD is a smaller independent school district. According to the Texas Education Agency, they received an overall rating of a B85 out of 100. Waxahachie ISD has 10,000 students and about 17 schools. We love that it has a smaller student-teacher ratio of 14 to 1, so definitely your kids will be able to be called out by name by their teachers and probably the administrators at the schools. And as a former educator and a parent, schools are very important and high on our list. So Waxahachie is one that I would feel comfortable with our kids attending. And of course, housing. So housing is a big factor when you're trying to decide where you want to live. And when we looked at Waxahachie's housing options, we were excited about the opportunities and the amount of house that you can get for the price compared to other cities really in DFW. As of September, 2023, the median sales price of a home in Waxahachie is $426,000. And just to compare, the median sales price of a home in DFW is about $370,000. And in Texas, the median sales price is about $340,000. So of course the median home price is higher than the average, but the value you get was one of those things that really drew us to Waxahachie. A $426,000 house in Waxahachie will get you a three to four bedroom house, two baths, 2,000 to 2,500 square feet home. And another good thing about Waxahachie is that they have so many new construction options. And I don't mean just 
new construction where the homes are really close together and right on top of each other. You can get homes on one acre lots and these lots are, have full irrigation. You can get fences put in, enough room for a pool. If you wanted to do an auxiliary unit for in-laws, you could do that too. So just a lot of options when it came to housing, which is something that we would appreciate. And we've already decided if in our next home, we want a new construction home. And Waxahachie definitely had a variety that could satisfy that palette that we wanted in our next home. In 2022, according to the Waxahachie city manager, they issued more than 1,000 building permits for single family homes. So they are planning for the growth that is happening there. I do appreciate that the growth is not as rapid as some of the cities up north and like your Plano, your Frisco, your Prosper. So that slow growth is something that we appreciate and we're very excited about if Waxahachie was gonna be our next place to live. And just a few of those communities when it comes to new construction that can have varying lot sizes and builders, plenty of builders in Waxahachie. You have Shepherd's Place, Dove Hollow, Bison Meadows and Buffalo Ridge. And of course, many of these communities are kind of like those master plan communities where you have biking trails, you have swimming pools, community centers. Some of them um, really do have that sense of community to where you have different activities within those planned communities. And so you really do get to know your neighbors. And that's the beauty of some of these master plan communities is that you have everything right at your footsteps and just having that sense of belonging. So those are just a few of the reasons why we would move to Waxahachie. It may or may not fit what you're looking for in your next place to live. Let me know in the comments. Do you have any questions about moving to the area? Give me a call, text, or email, and I'll see you in the next video.